Hey, in this video, let's see what it would take to uh, create a cool little cartoon uh, star. So this is a low poly star. You can see um, it only has 146 polygons and 196 tri. So this is perfect, uh, like a game, you know, low poly game asset. And um, let's see what um, it would take to create uh, something like this in Maya. So one thing that I've done uh, to make this is I actually, um, you, I suppose you could use a font and just modify the geometry. That would be pretty easy to do as well. But in this uh, tutorial, let's see um, what we could do by using uh, this little button here. So I'm in the poly modeling uh, tab and it's called SVG, right? So SVG is a, um, is a, like a vector format and it would be so fun to actually bring a shape in from a different program and extrude it into a 3D shape. So let's take a look. So for this, I'm gonna jump into Adobe Animate and you can use Animate or Illustrator. I think there's many different programs that, suppo that support SVG format. So uh, for this, I'm gonna jump into Animate. All right, so here I am in Animate. So the one thing I wanna do is I wanna actually create kind of a square document so something like this should work. And next I'm going to go to my, uh, let's see, in Animate there's a tool, if you hold down on your uh, rectangle tool, there's something called Polystar tool. So if I select Polystar tool and in my style I can s set this to uh, star and I want a five side star, right? I do want it to be kind of a cartoony star. So something like this should work. So this is just, again, a, if I double click on my uh, lines here, I can press delete and d delete the uh, the stroke lines, right? The, the contour lights around my shape. And now if I press uh, control K, I can actually um, automatically center this. And in my previous example, what I've done, I actually cut the ends off and I made them sort of um, round instead of sharp. So to do that, to achieve that, I actually just grab the drawing line tool and the line tool. And then um, if you look on the right here, you can control the color of the line tool. So since the star is black, I left my line stroke to be uh, red. So now I can just kind of chop these off just like this, just draw lines right over the uh, sharp corners here. Then I can grab this tool here and just simply drag this up, making the shape of what I want the round corners to be. So something like this should work. Now, if I just click on each corner, I can quickly simply delete it. So I have this cool little round uh, shape, and then I'm just gonna double click on all these lines and I no longer need them. So I'm gonna double click and press delete. All right, so then I'm left with something like this. I'm going to select this by dragging uh, selection over it, go to file, export, and in Adobe Animate, I'm going to go to Export Image Legacy. And what I want to do is I want to set my format to SVG. And on my desktop, I'm just going to save it to my desktop and just call it a star. And then go ahead and say uh, save. And I already have one, but I'm going to replace it. Now I'm going to jump back into Maya. And on Export, just make sure you say OK. All right, so here we are in Maya. So let's go and uh, let's go ahead and say file new scene. Uh, I'm not going to save this because I already have this saved. And so here we are in a blank Maya document, right? So let's do this. Let's go ahead and go to SVG. So press on this button here, right? So now if we go into our attribute editor and let's go to this tab here called SVG1. We can say import and let's navigate to our 
desktop and select the shape that we just saved. Here it is, star SVG. I'm gonna say open. And as soon as I say open, you could see very quickly, Maya grabs the shape and extrudes it for us automatically. So you have a slider here. You can change the size. Go to geometry tab. And then you can change the distance. Doesn't seem to do anything. You have the resolution. So maybe you want the edges to be a little smoother or if you are making like a low poly um, one, you can turn it way down and you can even, I guess, get rid of the roundness completely. But in my case, I actually like it. So I'm gonna leave mine on. And you have the extrude distance. So that's the thickness of it. And we can change this at any time as well, but you also have divisions, which is the inside part of the star. And for me, I just really wanted a kind of a low poly, so I'm gonna leave it like this. And I actually am gonna turn this down as well. So this seems pretty good. Um, once I'm done with all of this, I can actually go to edit, delete by type, clear history. And then I can click on this button, center pivot. So now you can see my, my pivot is centered, right? So next, let's go ahead and, and assign a material. So I'm going to right click and say um, assign new material. And I'm going to go to Arnold shader and I'll do a AI standard surface. So just to, we can change the color of this if we like. Maybe we'll make it kind of a orangey yellow. And next, um, what we could do is select all of these middle faces here and we can press extrude. And now if we hold on the shift key, we can select all the borders. So just for the sake of this uh, exercise, I'm going to just assign a new material and maybe make it let's go with the uh with the red so normally if this was actually a game object obviously i would use one material and then just have one texture right but i just wanted to um show you how easy and uh quickly you can create a really cool shape using uh svg button um, by importing vector files from other programs and of course now you can just go crazy and we can even extrude these in if we wanted to bevel them in we could do that so something like that could do a lot of uh, fun things from here all right so i hope you found this uh useful and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching